Right, there lads and lasses, and welcome to Darts Coaching with Dynamite Dave. Right, tonight's video, hopefully you're going to enjoy this one because what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk a little bit about the release. I've had so, so many people ask me about how to re what happens in during the release, uh, what, what point in your throw do you execute the release and all this, that and the other. There's loads and loads of little questions there. That I'm hopefully going to answer for you over the next 5 or 10 minutes or maybe a little bit longer, you never know and then what we'll do in section 2 of this little video is we'll have a little bit of a play along practice right, so let's get over into section 1 and let's get on with it right, here we are over in section 1 what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the release the actual fact that I don't think about the release now a lot of people as we've spoke about on many occasions overthink the way that they throw what I will do, what I will say to you, is there is consequences for obviously early and late release. If your brain is getting in the way and you're holding on to that too long, you're going to pull it low, aren't you? That's obvious. If you go too far over the swing before you release the dart, obviously your arm is coming down. If you release before the centre point, your arm is going up, so you're going to drive the dart up in the air. So the perfect place. To release the dart is just before the vertical. So you actually get the loft on the dart and you get a nice path of travel. If it's released perfectly on the top, it's neither lifting through the air or going down through the air. The best way for it to go is slightly up. For the simple reason is, is it's a flight. So the dart is conducting a flight between your hand and the board. So whenever you throw anything, you always have to have what they call a trajectory on it. So the trajectory of the, the flight of your dart, so trajectory, is a flight. It's a path. So the path between your hand and the board, obviously because you're throwing an object, it will gain height to lose height. So you need to release the dart just before the vertical, the absolute vertical, to allow the dart to come out of your hand and go up into the air, and come down into the board. If you hold on to it for too long, as the dart throw, travels through the air, it's come down regardless of where you let go of it. So if you want it to be in a nice perfect place to land in the board, it needs to be just before the vertical. So whether my cameras will be able to capture that or not, I'll try and put it into slow motion and everything for you. So let's get on with it. Let's do it to see if we can get those little bits of capture and see if you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Right, so we set ourselves up on the hockey in our position, fetch the arm up so it's nice and horizontal there and as we come over as you can see there the dart flies in a, a lovely path to the board. So let's go through that again, so as I release the dart, as you can see, I'm releasing it a millisecond before I get to the top of the throw. It's quite close to the top of the throw for the very simple reason is, as I release, my darts go in a nice little arc to the board. They don't go right up in the air like Phil Taylor's used to, or Gary Anderson's go quite high up in the air. Mine sort of like do a nice arc from the hand straight to the board. So here we go, we'll do that again.
there we go as you can see there's a lovely amount of arc in that and as you can see the grouping's quite good the score's quite good and it just all comes together so that release wants to be just before the vertical just after drag your darts down a little bit too early means that you're going to be going out up into the double top and out the top of the board obviously if it's quite an early, early release right hopefully you've enjoyed this little section and what we'll do now is we'll go on and we'll do a little bit of a play along practice so let's go over into section two let's go over there right now <laughs> 